A pleasant afternoon to each and everyone here in the Philippines. Good morning. It is my pleasure to present to you my research presentation with the slides. By the way, I am Eliezer M. Rebukas, a secondary school teacher 3 of the Department of Education here in the Philippines. It has been said that quality education depends on us. It depends on the teachers like me. But how can we achieve a quality education if we have just limited background in the subject matter no, that we are teaching? And of course, it really affects the performance of the students. Now join me as I unveiled my research entitled Teaching Outside Science Specialism, Plight of Public School Science Major Teachers in Monte Vista District. Before I will introduce to you the research content of my research presentation, let me present to you the site where the study was conducted and gather data. The study was conducted in municipality of Montevista, particularly in Montevista National High School. This is our school where the study was conducted, where the study generated the data as to the result of this research presentation. The municipality of Montevista is located in Mindanao, Philippines. And here are some of the scenic spots or the pride of the municipality, like Skylab Motorcycle. Another sample of Skylab Motorcycle. And of course, the municipality of Mindivista is considered as the light capital of the Mindanao, which is celebrating always in the month of December, celebrating the Diwanag Festival. For the rational, one of the most considered factor affecting student performance is teachers. According to Bobbitt and MacMillan in 2015, the phenomenon of teaching outside specialism, when teachers assigned to teach subjects for which they have inadequate training, background, and qualifications is a crucial issue, but long and recognized problem in schools. It is a crucial issue because highly qualified teachers may actually become highly unqualified if they are assigned to teach subjects for which they have little training or background on education. In the Philippines, cases of non-specialized teachers were evidently recorded all over the country. As per data from the Department of Education, teachers' lack of confidence when teaching topics outside their area of expertise is manifested. Several challenges and problems encountered when teaching the subject. And of course, one of the most important uh, to consider in teaching. The result of this particular issue, poor performance of students in specified subject area were currently recorded. In the local setting, particularly in Monte Vista National High School, Maine, spread data generated and recorded from a human resource out of 101 faculties. 47 recorded cases of teachers who are handling non-specialized subjects and according to them, difficulty in presenting lessons to students were evidently shown since student, they don't have enough background in it. Lack of confidence in teaching. Problems in devising activities best fits for students. Challenges in relating students' experiences at home. And uncertain of the lesson content being taught. So these are some of the reasons why poor performance of the students in schools were evidently shown and recorded. My study and my research were guided with the research question. Number one, what are the experiences of science teachers teaching subjects which is outside from their field of specialization? Second, how do science teachers cope with their challenges? teaching subjects which is outside from their field of specialization. Third, what are the insights of science teachers who encountered problems in teaching subjects which is outside their field of specialization? For the goals and purpose of the study, the study aims to describe the experiences, coping mechanisms, and insights of the public school science teachers experiencing struggle or various problems in teaching other subjects. Second, this further investigates about how teachers are able to drone up solution and come up with series of plans as to achieve the goals of the Department of Education. Third, the study aims also to provide the schools, stakeholders, 
government agencies concerned, and curriculum makers with the insights found in this research that suggest the need to revisit the hiring policy guidelines and load assignment policy to teachers. For the theoretical lens, the study is anchored to the idea of D. Jongville and Bandrill 2002, which states that inadequate background in the subject knowledge is one of the main factors that contributes to such challenges and will have an impact on the development of the teacher's pedagogical content knowledge as well as on the teacher's self-confidence and attitudes when teaching topics outside their area of expertise. Moreover, the teacher's knowledge base strongly influences all aspects of teaching like preparation, planning, and decision-making regarding the choice of the content to be learned. For the methodology of the study, we have their subparts research design, research participants, sampling technique, and tools used or utilized as to gather the research data. For the research design, my research study utilized a qualitative phenomenological study and according to Creswell 2013, qualitative phenomenological study talks about with live experiences of individual in accordance to a certain phenomenon or events. From the research participants, I did utilize a total of 15 science teachers who were actually teaching non-science subjects. Seven for in-depth interview, which is one-on-one -on -one interview to generate the data. Eight for focus group discussion or for the, from the body. According to Creswell 2013, Planner Clark 2011. For the sampling technique, I did utilize purposive sampling. According to Patton 2013, purposive sampling is one of the most uh, sampling utilized in qualitative research study, wherein it selected a participants who, who are knowledgeable enough on a certain phenomenon who can merely share enough evidence and data to support their study. And for the tools used to generate the data, I did utilize interview guide questionnaires, according to Melendres 2016. As per question, from experiences, copy mechanisms, and insights, um, here are the results of the study conducted. For the experiences of teachers who are teaching subject outside from their field of specialization, teacher participants commonly express and share problem particularly challenges in lesson preparation. Too much lesson preparation adds burden in the part of teachers because these educators instructing outside their specialized topic confronted significant difficulties in lesson readiness and during the time spent instructing. Most importantly, these instructors required to comprehend the structure and nature of the discipline and learned new substance information, which was known as subject matter knowledge. Aside from challenges in lesson preparation, another problem commonly expressed by the teacher's participants is challenges in mastery of the lesson. The experience as described by my participants was the stage when they were not confident to deal with the lesson. It makes themselves doubtful on sharing the information and ideas because they are not mastered with the lesson. Also, along the duration of the discussion, they were hesitant to answer the question from the students because they don't know the content of the subject. Moreover, educating outside of field could bring about poor teaching practices and an even and biased arrangement of educators' assets. With those experiences commonly expressed or shared by the teacher participants, most of them also shared coping strategies or coping mechanisms, one of which is time management. One of the attitudes manifested by teacher participants who were teaching subject outside their field of specialization was time management, that despite of the problems and challenges they've encountered, they are hoping that they can still offer information and idea to the students because the wasted time cannot be replaced with the increasing demands at workplace at home. The pace of life is becoming fast. That's why people are trying to do things faster to construct time, especially in teaching. Another results under coping mechanisms or coping strategies of teachers teaching subjects outside from their field of specialization is doing advanced study and research. In this endeavor, or in this research study, 
participants reported that in order to cope those challenges and problems encountered from teaching subject outside from the field of specialization, doing more advanced research and study on the subject handled can extend a big help in dealing the problems they have experienced in their current setting as manifested in their responses. Aside from the experiences and coping strategies of teachers who are handling subject which is outside from their field of specialization, here are the insights or suggestions offered by the teacher participants during the conduct of the study. One of their suggestions to the authority, subject alignment should be considered. Alignment should be considered. We should be teaching our major. These are few lines here from the responses of the participants during the interview to mention the reaction on allowing them to handle non-specialized subjects. At least 50% of the responses during the interview have those common feelings. From the sharing of the participants, this emerging themes was a common insights from these teachers, which they believe as an important factor to prevent out-of-field teachers in different schools in the country. Another response or essential themes generated under the insights of science teachers teaching subject outside from their field specialization is plan should be undertaken by authority. When the participants were asked during the interview on what best plans and programs for the authority to solve this particular issue on outside field teaching, most of them expressed and shared that authority should revisit the hiring policy of teachers in assigning teachers in different field and of course also revisit also the process on assigning loads to teacher according to them the best plan to avoid teachers in mismatching is that the authority should hire teachers who are really a need in that subject area they should not hire teachers who are there though they are really qualified however they are not the need of the school for the overall result or the outcomes of the study, results show that the science teacher participants have been involved in the regional K-12 mass trainings, but not all have the trainings, and they have learned teaching tips and strategies from few trainings which they have applied in the field. However, results further show that these participants have experienced difficulties in teaching the non-science subject. Thus, Additional trainings for this genre of informants are needed for enhancement of knowledge and skills. More so, although this phenomenon is challenging to the key informants which are the science teachers, an indication that this would be a worthwhile endeavor that would increase opportunities for acceptance, provide time to work hard as if new fight in the profession, and promote confidence which would aid shortage of teachers in the country. Furthermore, the study encourages the Department of Education to help teachers teaching outside specialism become brave in facing the phenomenon by designing programs for those teachers to address the needs and problems. However, the department is much encouraged to do checking on the teaching staff in every school to know the lacking and needed subject specialists. And these are the references which are utilized in my research presentation as to the research content. Once again, thank you so much for listening and God bless.